<laughs> wow, okay. Hey, so this is Pjarki, our Icelandic geography. This is David. All right, so I'm here with Ausgir. Here with Katrin, right? Hi. Vrinjar, Einar. I'm gonna ask him some questions that you guys, the geography people, asked for Icelandic people. Oh, they did? Yes. Oh, okay. These yeah. are the questions that my subscribers asked. Cool. So yeah. Inga H says, is it true you have a dating app that keeps you from dating a relative? <laughs> I kind of knew that this, this one would come. <laughs> Not quite. It's more, it's, it, it is an app. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's actually true. It became a joke. Oh, okay. It, 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 it never was a serious dating app. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but like, we're small, but not that small. Yeah. Oh, okay. It depends a little bit on how you look at it. It's not meant for dating, but it's like meant to, it was just a fun way to check, like to use the database that we have about every Icelander has that, it, that is and has ever been to like check how related you are. But does anybody it. actually use it for dating? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Zahra A says, do you really let your babies nap outside in the freezing temperature? Yeah, all the time. All the time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> They sleep better. Yes, we do. <laughs> but it's in a carriage, of course. They're w they're very very well dressed. So it's you're not freezing them. No, no, no. Okay. Not All right. We have always considered, you know, it it be healthy for the kids. You know, just spending some time outside. You know, this is a cold place, yeah. so we can't really escape it. So. Just get used to it. Yeah. A lot of people ask this. Okay. Uh, are you descended from Vikings? Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are. As far as I can tell, yes. The males that came to Iceland were largely from Norway, mm -hmm. but like 63% of the women were from Ireland. Ireland. So they probably came as slaves. So you guys have a little bit of maybe Celtic. Yeah. Blood in you. Yes. Amr M says, do you prefer work in Iceland or abroad? I think it's um, healthy for anyone to work abroad for uh, some period of time, but in the long long term, I think Iceland. I, long term Iceland, yeah. okay. I am a YouTuber in Iceland doing Iceland travel videos. If I had no children and no responsibility, I would definitely work abroad. Okay. But I would never want to live anywhere else with family so now for me i choose iceland tough question actually <laughs> i really like i'm working as a tour guide myself so i really like working here in iceland like, i wouldn't mind actually working abroad somewhere but i'm born and raised in iceland my family is in iceland so i would i would prefer being here in iceland oh melissa g asks what are your favorite icelandic bands or musicians prince polo Sigros, skalmart ulver ulver Hjalmar, an icelandic reggae band they're an Icelandic re oh mouse or M A U S. Mm -hmm. uh, mine is Patloskar Hjaltirsson. It would have to be Guskus. 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 Retro Stefsson. Uh, are the volcanoes dangerous? Yes. That's it. <laughs> yes. It's nothing you like think about every day. They haven't really affected me in my life. Like most of them are in the highlands, and if there's lava flow, it, it usually, at least recently, hasn't gone any too many towns. Not really. Just if you live very close to them. Can you pronounce that volcano that erupted? Ah, uh, Are there some people that are so blonde that their hair is actually white? <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Yeah. They're just white hair. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, we do have Icelandic albinos. Oh, that's like turbo white. I actually know one person. You know one person? Yeah. Hmm. But I don't know. I think it's just part albinist. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but uh, there's not that many of them. Not many. Mo most Icelanders that you're gonna see with like really like white, platinum, blonde hair, most of it is dyed. Not sure. <laughs> no. No. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Yoshi314 says, is it true people believe in fairies and elves and how does it affect your lives? No, that's the stereotype I don't I dislike the most. Yeah. The elves one. Some people believe in it, but for the most part, it's like people that believe in astronomy. Is it called astronomy? Astrology. Uh, astrology, yeah. yes. We have, a, we of course, have a lot of stories about elves and trolls in Iceland. They are literally scattered all over the country, but hardly anyone actually believes in them. Exactly. Who yeah. knows? You know, they're just hiding. Mm. But they are a part of our, you know, culture and we have right. all kinds of stories there, there's a lot of hiding space in this country exactly yeah and they're really small so yeah I mean, yeah what, they, they are real they are, yeah basically so there you go your questions answered by an icelandic geography